I am a laborer together with God. Yeah. Sasa ni wewe ni wewe tulioba siku za zamani. Ni wewe tuliinua sauti zetu mbele za Mungu, tukiambia Mungu, God said more laborers. You are one of the people. You are the answer kwa maombi yenye tuliomba siku za zamani. Na najua ya kwamba sasa unaingia pamoja na sisi tuombe watenda kazi wengine kwa sababu ya siku sijazo. Hallelujah. Tuangalie scripture kabla tujaingia kwa maoneno mengi. Um 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verses number 2. Corinthians chapter 4, first Corinthians 4 and verses number 2. Hallelujah. Let's even start from verse number 1. First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1 and 2. Tuangalie vizuri. Okay? Now, verse 1. Have you written? Have you opened? We are doing two things at the same time. We are opening our Bibles and then we after lighting so that you may as you read from the screen you also reading from your Bible. Ini ili uweze kuona ni nini unaweza adarain your bible should be having so many lines kusema ya kwamba hapa nilikuwa nimepitia so that by the close of one year you shall have a reason to buy another bible you can underline one of us mara tu moloba it is required in stewards that one to be found faithful give us from nlt versions Give us from NLT version then we are able to move together in the name of our Lord Jesus from verse 1 and verse number 2 it is moreover it is required that every servant be found faithful good okay ah hii inatuletea mtu mwingine lakini mzuri tusome tu for one two three so look at apollos and me as mere servants of Christ who have been put in a charge of explaining the mist god's mysteries okay number two. now a person who is put in charge as a manager must be faithful meaning you we are stewards stewards who is a steward a steward mtu mwenye ameaminiwa vitu za mwingine for the purpose of increasing and adding value lay down a steward is somebody is somebody who has been given trust has given trust over what belongs to another was been given trust over what is what belongs to another for the purpose of increasing it or adding value ili aijumuishe ama aiongeze value vitu sio sako ni mtu mwenye ameaminiwa vitu za mwingine kwa madhumuni ya makoania ya kwamba ataziongeza hadhi zitaongezeka in value na pia zitajumuishwa do you remember jesus giving a, a parable kuhusu watu watatu walipatiwa taranta wa kwanza akapatiwa gapi tano wa pili akapatiwa bili wa tatu akapatiwa moja bible inasema ya kwamba according to the year ability somebody say ability shout it ability so na jana wenye walikuwa Nairobi mkutano ya Nairobi there is something that was brought out so clearly by pastor Troy in a very expound way akasema it is not just being faithful it is also being able Do you remember? Yeah. Sio tu kuaminika tu, hapana. Ni kuaminika na kuwa na uwezo. So whatever we are doing in the kingdom, it is not our business. Lift your hand and say it is not my business. I didn't get you. Sema shout louder. Sema it is not my business. It is God's business. Imagine what you are doing here. Is it please him? Is it counting church money? Is it uh, development? Is it even cooking in the church? <laughs> is it even washing? It is God tell you anybody it's God's business. Yeah. What is happening? Mungu amekuagalia hivi na amekutrust. 
Do you know God cannot sweep? Is it possible? Yes, he can. But then I could be no. But can God sing? Let me just ask. Can God sing? No. So he can sweep, but not sing. Okay. Uh -uh, let's talk. Now, you know, in your workers, you see your ya kidagatan in your workers, what are the kazi? Munganeza, Akija in you by Kosafi. Even without us. See you? Eh? Munganeza, Iba, Ama Iba, Yani, Kuneza Iba, Abila Sisi. Gaino, I need to tell you how you do it. See, impossible. Say, Alizama, I go to Kizusha, Ata, Ata Murisha Mawe. Nayenza Kuiba. Eh? Na mwai naweza kuwa hile umewe litero, it may be litero stones, or vitu zigine, watu wegine wanakaa mawe. Mwadha ni akumimu na. Watu wegine katika uwaja wa uibaji, ni mawe tu. Mwadha ni akumimu. Hata wegine hawakuwa na, na hawakuwa wa, wa, wa ibaji, hawakuwa na jua kuiba, ni venye watu wegine walizusha mungu wa kainuwa jiwe moja. We, wegine saizu naona huku wa kina dorini. Na misi, si, si, na misi na shida wata, wata, Tulia tu, just hold your peace Ni mawe tu Mungu alifanya Iba So unaona saa mawe ikianza kusema ya kwa Ikianza kurigia mungu Na mungu wakona jiwe ikine Mwadha ni ya kumimu no Si mungu wakona mawe ikine eh, Hawa kuna mawe gapi, mutuli ni mawe ikine eh? <laughs> Saa mawe, tumekadua ma, mawe bili Iyo mawe ikine kukalibu na dorini Inaitu wa Morris Yeye ni mawe ingine. So hizi mawe zikikataa kuiba, Mungu akona mawe zige. Sio ajabu uone Mungu ameinua mawe inaitagwa taithi. Uone siku moja hiyo mawe imesimama hapa, una shida haya, ginyoo hiyo. Una shida haya, ati taithi alipata grace, akona ako anointed, amepata the gift of singing. Sio gift. Hapana sio gift. Ni jiwe imepatiwa uwezo wa kuiba kwa sababu kuna waibaji walikata kui so baby na sema ya kwamba we are stewards. So sawa. So every steward baby na sema ya kwamba is required of him that he must be faithful. Now faithfulness is measured by the amount given to you. Faithfulness hakuna anga standard measure ya kumi of faithfulness is determined by how much is given to you? By how much is given to you? Is it uh, Luke chapter 12 and verse, verse 48? We can check whether we shall get anything from that one. But I think something is said there. So it's measured by how much is given to you. Listen. We are not all graced equally. Some carry higher grace others a small measure of grace. But God shall never ask anything from you that he never gave you. Write that down. God shall never demand from you anything he never gave to you. Mungu hawezi ya kauliza ama kaagiza ama akategemea ama akisie Ya kwamba anaweza akapokea chochote kutoka kwako na anaweza akademand kile ambacho hajakupatia. Any time you see God demanding anything is because he has already invested in you. God is not angry with all of us equally. Likewise me as a man of God, I am not angered by people equally. There is something governor would do and I'll be very, very angry with him. And you discover, maybe Moturi do the same, and I'm a bit lenient with, uh, with him. Because it is not based on the color of your skin. It is based on the kingdom investment. So God has invested in you. So anapokuangalia, anagalia uwezo wako kulingana na Kenya amekufanya. Now lift your hand and lay eight of your hands and say, my God, lift your voice, my God has invested something in me. Okay? So God is not demanding anything he has not given you. 
And then everybody is carrying a certain measure of grace. Kila mtu kuna neema amebeba. Hiyo neema ndio Mungu anaulizanga. Let's check what the Bible is saying. Look at uh, Luke 12:48. Read from the screen. 2:3. Okay, now, will you give us 47? So that you, but cannot start the, the sentence. Your but in your name now. Okay, now, raise your voice, two, three. Your leading is uh, correct, but very soft. I wish you were able to raise it a bit higher. Your leading correctly. You know, your kizungi yako ni ile ya Queen Elizabeth. Lakini nuleza inuwa kavoli mkidogo. Sinuwe kopia vizuri sana. Wezi nipigia makofi na yu compliment yiko juu sana. Atikuwa la kizungu ya Queen Elizabeth. Na unani agalia hivyo tu. Eh hey, sasa <laughs> Sayo kizugo geza volume 2 3 And a servant who knows what the master wants but isn't prepared and doesn't carry out those instructions will be severely punished. Do you see two things there? Number 1 who knows. That's the first thing, who knows. Number 2 who is prepared. So there is knowing and being prepared. I know that today God expected that I will preach this morning. That is knowing. What happened? I have taken my time. I have been preparing. So the master has an expectation based on what he has given you. So as someone who knows what the master wants but is not prepared and so because of lack of preparation does not carry out those instructions will be severely punished. Why are we gathered today as workers? And others are coming there, thereafter. And you see I'm a bit very firm. Jacob, you must be here by 6.30. What is the problem with me? Don't I like you to sleep? I like you to sleep. By the way, sleeping is good. It's godly. Could I see you with shetani? Like any cause of what is expected of us. There is somebody God brought here. Na kazi yake ni yanyuele. Maana baby na zame ya kwa basisi. Ni kama viyugo vya mwili. Na kwa mwili kuna kuwaga na nyuele. Do you know nyuele heaven yagi kitu ili. Ili. Sinakaga hapo tu. Ya. Yeah. Hainaga maneno mingi ni ya kuonekana. Like inu watu wagina ni, ni, ni the heart. Invisible but very key. Do you get me right? So, number 48, the Bible says, but someone who does not know and then does something wrong will be punished only lightly. So, what we're going to do? And that's what we're going to do now. That's why as a man of God, I will tell you, now, Mugai, do this. And when you start doing it, you discover you receive the grace to do it. Like if you do nothing, Kwa sababu haujui utaulizwa lakini sio sana Bible inasema ya kwamba you be slightly punished. Why? Finish the scripture now. Why? When someone has been given much, uh -huh, much will be required in return, uh -huh, And when someone has been entrusted with the much, even more will be required. So the measure is determined by the investment of God. Some of you, God has invested so much. Wagina mukijia zaza na hii mambo ya kingdom, muga na kufirisi. Go ina wako hali ya nao tukumwe. Muna nila wapedwa? Ya. Unajua kuna venye mungu wana invest na wewe kabisa kabisa. Mbaka ukicheza na ee, anakuwa haraka. Hallelujah. Mimi na tamayaga likiwa very very careful because I know how much God has invested in me. For me to become what I, what I am now, ini kazi ya miaka mingi sana. Mungu wa mehatarisha hata integrity ya jina lake, akinitegeneza mimi. Sazikina mungu wa menichetea even when I was long. Have you discovered mungu wa nasa kuchetea even when you are long? Yeah, alichetea Musa. Musa meowa mu, mu, mu Ethiopia, kasichana ka Ethiopia. Chiyo alipatana wapi? Amekawa. Na ilikuwa kinyume na Mungu. Mungu yako amesema hivyo. Alikuwa amesema ya kwamba wasio ya watu wa mataifa. Lakini kwa sababu ya investment na wajibu hapo Mungu alikuwa amempatia. Mungu alimtetea. Wengine wetu tumetetewa na Mungu. Ulifanya kitu chukizo mbele za Mungu. Mungu akakutetea, akaweka jina lake hatarini. Akahatarisha image yake. 
Baga dona uliza hii kai gayora gia o. I call down all your mwaiiri kai gayora gia a o. Do you get me right? I call down all your muga abiri kari ya mwa ragio. Do you get me right? Na mungu ana sima ma kidete. Hasa mi anything. We kina wetu kiona tu unafanya kazi na tunafanya galeo. Ili uone mtu kama George akifanya kazi anafanya galeo. Mungu akikwambia hesabu, akutele hesabu ya kazi yenye amefanyiwa. Hey, utashangaa sana. Some of you are calling generational investments. Kazi yenye Mungu amekufanyia ingefanyiwa watu wengine, wangekuwa evangelist wanahubiri Afrika yote. Lakini wewe bado unalegalega hapa kwa sababu haujajua the match. Na unajirikanisha na sisi. Sasa unaonaje mimi nikiamuka kama na mimi siogee vibaya. Can I give an example with anybody? Ya yeah, we are a team. Sasa uki mimi nikijirikanisha kuamuka na na, na Nixon. Na mimi sikudunishi ni example. Wewe well, usimame is a good example. Just sit down. So nikiamuka kama Nixon ni vizuri. Si ni ni kwa mimi amuka tu. Like in the question is how much has God invested in me and God does not expect from me what he expects from Nixon So Masaya kuamuka inategemeaga your knowledge on how much is invested in you Kama unaelewa umemuga invest kasuku moja hauna haja kuamuka mapema la 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 na ni ukili tena mno Ado tusuku mali oto rodha ishi mother ya kumemono no i have no luxury of even sleeping uh, my wife knows every week this week i think it, i'm leaving very early but we are having meetings with the men of god from 6 in the morning yesterday before we go to nairobi i was sitting in a meeting somewhere 5:30 in the morning hello 6 i was the meeting was starting at 6 so niyamuka za ngapi nikajitayarisha na nime drive mpaka kidogoya so that by that time i'm seated Then from that time I come then we go to Nairobi then we discuss somebody alikuwa anaenda Nairobi lakini amekuja saa 4 na na mimi sio give vibaya naogea ile tu ya ukwe ya ukweli na why am, am I not angry with anybody is because I don't know exactly how much God has invested in you I may blame you and maybe we ni kasuku moja like we more 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 the guy created the inwa kuna ni nudhu giradhi You don't require even a whole day to exhaust that. Lakini watu wengine ni container, lori muzima. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wale wanafanya kazi ya distribution, unatoka Nairobi na lori imejaa. Mugu kumi. Ya yeah, I know my friend who was working, alikuwa anafanya kazi ya biashara, bado anafanyanga, anatoka Nairobi gari kwa imejaa. Working for a certain company anakujia muranga anakujia keno anakuja hivi meru anaenda maua anatokea pande ya ya, ya isioro na nyuki ya ururu hivyo ili by the time anarudi Nairobi gari ikue empty wengine wetu leo tumekuja Mungu atupack atuachilie leo then tuanza kuzunguka monday tuesday wednesday so that by the time you are coming back on monday you need to have distributed everything Agalia neighbor muulize vizuri how much is given to you Okay mu- muulize swali yo ukimwambia ita yu mwambia do you know how much is given to you Yeah So inategemeaga whether you know Okay Mbona ni kumbie mno Na unajua even even as a family even all I like God has entrusted me may be different from what my wife is carrying She may be even be carrying more than me because it's not about titles about uh, deposits za kimu za kiungu to day that much is given much is required so from today you must change tukivika binguni hatutaulizwa nani walikuwa wanafanya kazi na pastor Carson no even they that are working with me they have different graces praise the name of jesus christ i'm saying praise the name of jesus christ it is required that every man every steward is found Faithful. Faithfulness nimesema is measured by how much is given to you. Mwana na kumi mno. Yeah. Kuna wengine hapa bado wanafanya class uh, exam ya kindergarten. Lakini kulingana na Mungu the exam they should be calling ni a master's degree. 
but they don't know so we have to meet at kidogo kwa sababu we haujui so we shall be able to graduate praise the name of jesus christ i say praise the name of jesus these are the people that are required in the church if this church shall grow to where god want to take us if god if it shall be of any benefit to me kama mnaweza kunisaidia mahali these are the kind of people you must become number one. watu wabao every ministry and every minister require ili aweze kuingia katika hadhi tupatie katika exodus chapter 17 verse number 8 exodus 17 verse number 8 tuangalie maandiko kidogo hapo ili tuweze kuelewa tunaongea kuhusu nini hii ni kitambu ya Musa good now tunasoma maandiko mengi kwa hivyo wewe unasoma haraka haraka alafu tunaelewa mambo fulani 2 3 while the people of Israel were still at Lefidim the warriors of Amalek attacked them number 9 tabe haraka haraka less um kidole kwa 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 keyboard Moses commanded Joshua choose some men to go out and fight the army of Amalek for us tomorrow i will stand at the top of the hill holding the staff of god in my hand so joshua did what moses had commanded and fought the army of amalek meanwhile moses alone and hall climbed the top of a nearby hill okay as long as moses held up the staff in his hand the israelites had the advantage but whenever he dropped his hand the amalekites gained the advantage okay about um, moses arm soon became so tired he could no longer hold them up so alone and whole found a stone for him to sit on and then they stood on each side of moses holding up his hand so his heart held steady until sunset so the first kind of people is alone and whole or hal depending on some of you the first people we need in the ministry ni watu ambao wanaitanga wa Haron na Huli Haron na na Huli Haron na Huli na wewe kama kiongozi na mtenda kazi pamoja na nami katika hii huduma na huduma zingine zote ambazo Mungu atakupatia lazima ujue ya kwamba uko na wajibu wa kuhusu hakikisha ya kwamba mikono ya Musa imeinuliwa juu ina kuambia ya kwamba note this down even great men of god are men like that down even the great men of god are men so challenges wao zinakutanga men wakati mwingine zinakutanga even the so called men of god mikono ya Musa ilikuwa imeanza kuchoka ukiinua lazima icho ichoke kazi ya Musa ilikuwa gani kuinua mikono kazi ya Haruni ilikuwa gani kuhakikisha mikono haija aguka chini so kazi yangu hapa ni kuinua mikono ili watu washinde lakini kuna wengine miongoni mwenu Mungu amewainua hata kuna kazi nyingi abana kazi yako ni kuhakikisha kwamba the hands are lifted up praise the name of jesus christ any ministry and any minister mwenye anakosa hawa watu potential yake haiedangi siku nyingi na huduma kama hii yetu ya hours of love na mwili wa Kristo kwa sababu ya hul na halun kujiondoa karibu na Musa because they must be very very close with Moses they must be very close with Moses na ujue ya kwamba Musa hakuwabia kwa sana nimechoka hapana hapana hako i think walisikia kilio unajua mahali wako saa hizi Joshua uko chini anapigana wakati Musa amenua mikono wanasikia sauti za Waisraeli wakisema ya venye wamepigana wakiita na majina Caleb ama wakiita na majina yenye wanajua Musa akiaguka hivyo anasikia sauti za Waisraeli zimeaguka chini hazisikiki ni wa, ni wa malaki wanasikika wakagujua we there is something in these hands mikono yote haikuwa sawa kuna mikono na mikono haleluya kuna mikono na ikiinuliwa inainuliwa na, na iko empty lakini katika ya Israeli kuna mikono ilikuwa imebeba power mikono ya Musa na lazima ikepata watu wa kuinua 
wale ambao walikuwa wa Harun na Huri kama wangejiondoa Joshua angeshindwa vita it is not because Joshua was weak but because Harun and Hul withdrew from the assignment and i pray that every one of us shall receive the anointing of Harun and Hul are you there now note this down the Harun and Hul generation must be very creative must be very creative lazima wakuwe na wanatumia akili <laughs> for lack of a better explanation lazima wakuwe creative ni watu wana wamejanjaruka ni watu ambao wanaweza chora haraka haraka sio watu ambao wana zuba sio zuba hapana baba anasema ya kwamba waliinua mikono ya Musa wakagudua hata wao pia bado wanachoka sio Musa peke yake ona mama yuko mara ano what did they do they went and looked for a stone for Moses to sit that's creativity you all know in our core values one of our core values is creativity kwa hivyo kuna mambo i don't even to hear from you kuna some of the things you come to ask for me i look at you and i just keep quiet because i don't expect from you why you need to be very creative you must be able to look for a solution you should not be spending all your time explaining a problem are you getting it halon and hul are not burdens to moses they are burden carriers keep noting they are not burdens they are burden carriers they are bearing the burdens of moses what's your burdens They are not burdens they are burden carriers they are burden bearers Every leader must be able to bear the burden You have come into the vision not as a burden but when you keep explaining a problem every time you come you bring a problem you kuna eda hivi kuna eda vile the first question you need to ask yourself has it is it beyond me to solve it okay yeah i i thank god what wa what wa sound wana jibanganga vizuri as i'm saying this conference i was not tired at all do you know why people are able to capture to their to their position no much complain nothing but nothing because um what wa kitchen um hawako nisugua sana it was very easy they were able to connect very fast calling in bale they got the the pa you know on the other side and they were given the menu me and my wife we are just relaxing that's creativity that's creativity what was sound they never hako i just found mekuja one of the even mekuta saudi mesetiwa okay press team but then i think it was a calbert who was uh, in charge when pastor davis was um, on leave they went and caught somebody who was here and uh, doing the keyboard and the drum set is that true we no come i was not even aware how's running how much money kinanani how do i know them but uh, if they are there hiyo kodi za wako nayo how's your majama wabaya just know they are good men so these are men who are creative You must jog your mind in looking for a solution. Any time you become part of the problem, you have no need to be in that department. Praise the name of Jesus. So they were creative. They were very innovative in looking for a solution. Praise the name of Jesus. They ensured mikono ya Musa imeinuliwa juu. They brought in their mind. Number two people you need to need you need in the ministry exodus chapter 1 verse 1 exodus 1 verse 1 let's check exodus chapter 31 and verse 1 okay let your voice and lead with me we shall get these people as we continue to three then the lord said to moses aha uh-huh, what did he say look i have specifically chosen bezalel son of uri grandson of hu 
of the tribe of Judah. The same same huli. Tuliona na pale. Some go say I have specifically chosen who? Bezalel. So the kind of the other kind of a people we need in the church is Bezalel. Bezaleli. Tunahitaji Bezaleli kabisa. Watu wa Mungu wamechagua. Hakuna kitu kigumu kama kutafanya kana watu wa Mungu hajachagua. Ni waonaga burden. Wana kuanga very economical even with giving in their skill. Okay. Look at number 3. What does the Bible says? I have Okay. You know how to say to the I have I feel him with what? The spirit of God giving him great wisdom, ability and expertise in all kinds of crafts. Now this is a Bezalel. Mungu amesema Yakobo number 1, abebeo nini? Now write this down the qualities of Bezalel. Number 1, full of the spirit. Full of the the spirit of God. What will your jar? Roho wa Mungu. Number 2, what will your great wisdom? Hekima ya kiwango kia juu sana. They are not lacking in wisdom. Wisdom. Hawana hawana ubiquity ya hekima. Yaani wako na hekima, wanaweza uh, fuatanisha mambo vizuri, wanaweza panga mambo vizuri. Wako na na welendi wa aina. They carry great wisdom. Now, who do you okay, lack of wisdom, how can we call it? Foolish. Is that the the opposite? Wise? What's the opposite of wise man? Uh-uh, now talk to me now. See, 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 Mambo ya wisdom sio mambo ya kwenda class you may be learned but still a fool. Kuna watu wanataka kwa Kiingereza mzuri learned fools. Wajiga wenye wamesoma. Eh? Yeye ni mki eh. Mesenya ka unaulizaje? Wajiga werevu ama wajiga wenye wamesoma. Foolish learned fool. Eh? Wasomi wajinga. Wale waka huko, wale waka bila lione zanza wasomi, wanza wajiga whichever the case. Going to class does not make you wise. It may make you knowledgeable. Bible in Azema Gatika Yakobo. Is anybody lacking in wisdom? Let him ask. Is it James? Is anybody lacking in wisdom? Let him ask from the Lord that gives. So wisdom, so you kuzaliwa nayo. Apana. Wisdom is a gift is a package given by God. Every leader must ask God for wisdom. What is wisdom? When you are going to say wisdom, although in a very shallow way, when you say wisdom is the ability to apply knowledge. Are we there now? Ability to apply knowledge. Kumanisha ya kwamba, I use Doreen again. Doreen may be having the knowledge of music. Sauti yako nayo um nini ingine the music sauti yako nayo vocals iko sawa hiyo ingine kupanga nyimbo hiyo mambo yako nayo hata sura yako nayo hiyo nini ingine inahitajika kwa music vizuri za music yako nazo eh eh hata hatua you know waja na hatua kwanza ili tukie kwa wisdom now wisdom now is knowing is a bit to know which song to sing when and how? Unajua kuna nyimbo kaba? Kuna nyimbo nilega the outer court songs. The outer court? Just have this. Nyimbo outer courts. Just have this. Hizo ya ubagi, hawa ubagi na kuna nyimbo za the holy of the holies. So there's a song you can read here. Then you to enjoy. So wisdom now in India, whereby how do I organize my songs? 
Okay? There's a way utaendea kuongoza nyimbo mpaka wewe unabadilisha nyimbo. Yenye unaipanga unaibadilisha because now you are not singing from outside, you are already in inside. Okay? Kuna mahali na vikanga hapa unaondoa madoido yote, una shift, una 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 una, una kuwa mkuu. You are holy. You are not out now, you are already there and you can see him. Your eyes can see. Umeondoa church from the outer court. Sawa usongei bamba tunasongea tulikuwa na huko nje lakini bado tunakuja kuja tukifika ndani tunasongea twende wapi tena tuko ndani already Now help us now to address the king of glory Praise the name of Jesus So if wisdom does not lane what happens you shall be mixing everything the inner court songs and the outer court songs shall be mixed up What happens? We lose. That's you discover to record mesama vizuri, we begin in aletwa, nyota munasimama. Even in placing. Adam do a keyboard bado wanapotea. Kwanza anakusikiliza uone uko wapi? It's not that you are not a singer. The thing is you are maybe lacking in wisdom. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. Right now kitambo There's a way we are doing ministry. Today we don't do the same. Today we don't, don't do the same. But Jumabo inabadilika. So, number two, tuzama ya kwamba they carry great wisdom. Oh, this is a scripture. Now, James 1:5. How do you get wisdom? If you need wisdom, okay? Now, like this loudly, tuzama pamoja 2 3. Yoko somo yako nimesema kigereza ni ya kuingia Elizabeth lakini masomo sauti ni baya. 2 3 if If you need wisdom ask our generous God what will he do and he will give it to you he will not rebuke you for asking lift your hand now above your hand let's let's do some practicals of this scripture say my god your mouth is your seed you say my god give me wisdom I, do you mean it do you mean it leader yeah one more time say my god give me wisdom yeah so Bezalel require wisdom. Why does he require wisdom? Because anajua mambo mengi na anajua kujenga na chuma lakini lazima ajue you are not building your own. Okay? You are not building your own. Ni mambo ya kingdom. How do you transfer your skill to fit in the kingdom? You know I I may be a manager. Okay? I may be a manager professionally. But you know management in church is different from management in in the marketplace. Mnanielewa pedo? Yes. I may be a human resource manager. But human resource management in church <laughs> inakuwa kwa tofauti. Inakuwa tofauti kabisa. Okay? You may be naturally uh, generous. Do you know what? Giving in the kingdom is different. It calls for more than generosity. We need wisdom. Now, let me say something about Bezalel. Write this down. Bezalel actualizes the vision of Moses. Bezalel's work is to actualize niku tegeneza maono ya Musa kwa jia inaweza onekana. Bezalel actualizes the vision of Moses. You know a vision is mental. A vision is mental. What do you say? A vision is a clear mental picture of the future or of an expectation. Let me define for you again the a vision. A vision is a clear mental picture of your expectation. Keep lighting quickly. We just need to lash. Good. We have few minutes. I want to summarize something. A vision is a clear mental picture of an expectation of your expectation. Now listen. Wakati Mungu ameambia Musa ya kwamba angependa ategeneze uh, tabanaku. Mungu alichukua Musa akampeleka mbinguni. Musa alichukuliwa na Mungu 
akapelekwa mbinguni akaonyeshwa taba la kwenye nikuoga mbinguni akaonyeshwa measurement akaonyeshwa length width and everything alafu akaabiwa go and he build like this ile utengeneza kama hii lakini Musa hajui kutengeneza Musa sio sio fudu wa bao Musa hajui kutengeneza dhahabu Musa hajui kutengeneza nini uh, vitu zingine Musa anajua kusikia Mungu na kuona Kenye aliona mbinguni Bible inasema ya kwamba by the time anatoka mbele ya Mungu Mungu anamwambia kwamba I have chosen I have specifically chosen Bezalel Listen to me carefully I've come to discover from this scripture any time God ana deposit vision ndani yangu kuna mtu miongoni mwetu anakuwa anointed immediately to actualize that thing So God brought you here and every other person following online Mungu alikuinua akakupeleka huduma fulani kazi yako hasa hata sio kuona maono ya hii huduma kazi yako ni kugudua ya kwamba maono yako ni gani then you bring it to pass So the person asema kwamba wisdom why ili anapojenga asiweke idea yake Mwana ni kumi mno unajua alikuwa na experience ya kutengeneza mavitu mabox anaweza jiabia kwamba hii box ni kama ile ingine tulitengeneza the other day Kenya hajuni ya kwamba hii box measurement ni za mbinguni venye dhahabu zinapangwa na fedha na vitu zingine sio sio Musa so lazima angekuwa na very close relations like this down Bezalel must be very close to Moses to understand Bezalel must be very close to Moses to understand the vision must be very close to Moses to understand the vision lazima akuwe wa karibu sana as you keep distance from the visionary you may start building your own things Lazima ukue karibu sana. Lazima ukue karibu sana. Lazima Bezalel akikuwa pale ili Musa amwambie kwamba ulipoenda biguni uliona mesha medigana akambia ni 50 pande hii. Anaenda na pima 50. So lazima upunguze distance. Lazima upunguze distance. You cannot be a leader of the praise team or a member of the praise team and for a whole week you have not had any communication with the, with the visionary. You may even be asking dad how do you want us to dress on sunday why kuna mwenye anaweza ukavaa u contradict the sermon ya hiyo siku haleluya eh lazima tukue jia how do we come you know there are various way of of all your calling distance okay kuna ile you know wakati Musa sio Musa Elijah na Abia Elisha Elisha by that was I go na Elisha inaanza na Elijah wakati aliona venye Elisha amekuwa consistent na umenifuata sana kijana akamuuliza what do you want me to live with nikwacha na nini what can I live with you hapo ndipo Elisha alisema ya kwamba double portion of your spirit not of your power double portion of your spirit hiyo ni kitu tofauti sana not the spirit of god but the spirit of elijah double aliambia aje aliambia kwamba that is a hard thing hako bi sio possible aliambia is a hard thing agabio hivi but if you see me go ukiona nikichukuliwa then you shall receive it that's the, the worst the hardest assignment kumaanisha ya kwamba ni kama elijah alikuwa na jia na na na, na crew ni kama alikuwa na uwezo wa kujua venye atachukuliwa. Alichukuliwa aje? Can you describe it venye alichukuliwa? Number one, alichukuliwa na farasi. Okay? Na hizo farasi zilikuwa na nini? Zilikuwa za moto. Number two, kulitokea wheelwind. Huyu ni ni, ni upepo gani? Eh? Tendoe. Gedhiro. Mtu alikiria gedhiro? Eh? Shetani za wadada. Siniyo. Ama sio the same same thing. Eh nimeongea Kiswahili. Njoo Kiswahili ni kizuri akae kama ni baya. Kiko ya lauko ile itakuwa ni goma. E goma shiaka. Sijui inakuwa gaje. Nitachunguza nijue hiyo ilitoka wapi. 
Hiyo ndio inachukua Elisha. So wame wame wako Elisha na Elisha. Elisha aliona Elisha amefunikwa na hizo shetani za na hiyo upepo ya shetani za wadada. Ikazunguka kabla ya gudua Elisha amepandishwa kwa magari ya moshi. Magari ya moto farasi. Hakuna farasi ya moto ilikuwa imepatikana mahali lakini hata saa hizo masho ya Elisha bado ilikuwa inatazama. Wakati Elisha aliangalia chini alikuta macho yake na ya Elisha ikapatana. Akaachilia manto. Why? Bezalel must be very close. One of the things, one of the um closeness that we need to keep. Write this down. Let me give you this one very fast. Closeness about lazima ikuwe between people um you need to have with your visionary. Number one is a uh, emotional closeness. Number one is emotional closeness. Mabaya emotional closeness no gea kuhusu are you angered by the things that angers your visionary your leader una kazili changa na mambo yenye inamkazili changa ama wakati amekazilika wewe uko tu sawa are you excited by the things that excite him your mabaya emotional distance number two is mental closeness mental closeness <coughs> This is whereby you allow his ideas to saturate your mind. You allow your his ideas to saturate and influence even your thinking. You remember when you were having a conference it would trouble me who is going and who is not going until I had even to call people by names. Don't miss don't miss don't miss why? It is not my idea. I'm saturated with the idea of my leader. Mental closeness. Number three, spiritual closeness. Lazima ukuwe karibu kiroho. Yeah. And you need to be, lazima ukuwe na vitu zina kuwabia kwamba ni kama tuna, I think I've told by some guys, some people, though I speak it lightly, but at times I also mean it. I tell you, you know what? I'm not feeling you. Have I told you anything like that? kuna venye sikufilo i may be speaking it lightly but it can also be serious whereby spiritually kuna mahali hatukutani kuna distance kanaendelea ku kukua how do you enhance closeness being available for spiritual activities so unapojiondoa katika mikutano ya kiroho hii mambo ya distance ya kiroho inaweza kuwa Unafika mahali until God does not give me visions concerning your life. Ana kama ninakuobea na kuobea ile maombi ya, ya haraiki. Maombi ya watu wote. Maombi ya watu wote. Mungu saidia watu wote wa oasis uwapatie pesa. Lakini kuna mtu specifically tukienda mbele za Mungu una mention God I pray remember so and so. Mungu saidia so and so msimamishe. Eh? miguu yake ipate mahali pa kukanyanga kuna maombi specific inaobangwa when you are spiritually close your name does not um, um, is not very far from the tongue of your leader spiritual closeness when you come here and you are praying on a friday and i see you pray okay at times i just look at you in my own wisdom i mobilize an answer to your prayer Unani roho. Ya tuko hapa tu tunaoba tu. Lakini na kuangalia tu na, na scan kiroho ya kwamba I think this is what this guy is asking. Haujaniambia? What will happen? In my own wisdom unakuta ninaenda njia zangu, nina mobile siki kitu. I may even give you a call ushindwe. Dad kwani ulikuwa unajua? Si kwa ninajua. Hata si kwa ninajua hata, hata uja, si lazima uniambie. Lakini you are so close. I can sense, I can decode. Na, naweza kuelewa even when you are having an issue so better cannot keep be very far so imabu tunasema working together um is um very very key distance wisdom okay now the other character ya bezero ambayo ilikuwa 
full of spirit number two wisdom hiyo mambo masaya tumekaa tunaongea mambo ya wisdom <laughs> okay number three is uh, ability ability lani akona skill akona akona uwezo eh for example umegundua siku moja kuna mambo mengi unatakaka kufanya kenye kinakukosea ni ability sio ya nimesikia watu wengi wananiambia dad Mungu akinifanyia so, this and this mimi nitafanya hivi okay ya kuna mtu Mungu alisatia alipatia uwezo siku moja akanulia hizi stud okay na kwa ni sikuja nilijua sasa kuna ability Mungu ameachilia kuna vitu nyingi kwa church hazifanyiki kwa sababu mtu kuna mtu ako hapa ni beza leo Kenya amekosa ni ni uwezo lakini shida ni Mungu aleta uwezo lakini ukoze wisdom so you don't even design it is a time kuna vitu vingine Mungu anakupatia kana sio zako unajua mwa bimegi by the way have you ever prayed for any need of this church let me ask uroho haraka ndio kidu ukaroka ngo mwa ndani kaita ngi he kidu fulani have you ever had a desire like that ah uh-uh. ah talk to me now ama ukwa ginayo ni mimi na subuaga is there anything this has now you you, you think ni mwa ndani ngi he bia kirudo kwa ngi tutugu kidu kia bere You know that last week tumekuja morning devotion kwa watu wengi wanajua ile mwabia asubuhi na tukasema yakoba Mungu atoe ile laptop ya zamani do you remember na tumeongea mara nyingi so wakati wa conference i'm just sitting in the office by the way i was just studying somewhere i see somebody come with a box na na sinaga tabia kupora watu so akaniambia that i want to see you in the office so nikaenda kwa office kaniambia i want you to dedicate this uh, laptop uh, nikamuuliza ya nini Uh, I've noticed na imekuwa na design my heart that uh, ile laptop yetu kuna mjai kwangu mzuri so la pend nikaamini Mungu akinipatia pesa nitainunua so na nimeinunua nimeleta we have not even announced it but those guys knows we have a new laptop is that true yeah we have a new laptop why when god open your eyes if you are have the grace of bezalel na ugudia kwamba kuna kitu kinakosekana huku uwezekano ni kwamba god shall answer that prayer unanielewa so kuna vitu vingine mungu anakupatianga unapata katenda unapata ka breakthrough friend na unasema kwamba god has opened a door for me it is not a door for you it is a door for his kingdom alikupatia kwa sababu ili ile maombi ulifanya uende ukaijibu mwanzo ni kumbia mno yeah wewe ukaijibu so wisdom ni kuelewa ni gani ya Mungu na ni gani yangu when i got this revelation i am very very careful when i see god do something that is extraordinary kwa ni mwana Mungu amefanya kitu yenye hii is your common hii muujiza alazigo anaingojea wakati mwingi haikuagi inakuhusu wakati mwingi inakuaga haiku yeah Sikwaje zinota wanda ukuta governor ameamka one week by the end of the close of the week amerekeza 100000 Okay So ile ya muhimu sana if you have this grace ni ya kwamba in the area of wisdom you identify something what you are lacking is inability God may drop that ability What happens then you you shift a day is coming brethren whereby in this church <coughs> we shall not be announcing things god shall give people ability mnanilawa people shall start commanding a lot of money na nimegudua nimeanza kutendeka tayari kwa sababu we did a conference last week is it last week is it true yeah last week we did a conference nilijabu kuangalia hesabu nikaona we spend around 350000 Did anybody feel the weight? Did anybody expect that the money we used? No. Because in between there are some people who are designing it. They are getting inability. And so they are able to direct their ability into the reason why God is blessing them. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. By the time we are doing a conference in December that is um, finishing strong. One of the things I told I told my guys we no longer even sit down to do the budget 
No. What we do is plan the meeting. I will plan the meeting because of these Bezalel inabilities, they are coming. So by the time we are doing the, the conference in December, the, the last me, big meeting of this year, I know we shall even be having more than we need. Because God shall give you inability. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, number one, number one, quality of Bezalel. He, he has an expertise in a certain area. He is an expert. He carries expertise in certain areas. Now listen. Some of the skills we have today, they were not intended to only give you access to finances. Some of you think Wariada Shule Iriwaweze kupata kazi. Some of you went to school and kuligana mahesabu za mungu, it was God didn't have a job in you in the course you took. God was just taking you to school that he may gain a skill because he shall need it in the kingdom. Yani mungu kupereke shule usome um, from for yote, high school yote, primary yote, all this. Ili akupatia skio, yenye atakuitisha katika kingdom. Any expertise, any knowledge, any profession uko nayo saa hizi. Iwe ni ya kupika, iwe ni ya kuimba, iwe ni ya seremana, iwe ni ya fudu wa bao, iwe ni managerio, whatever it is, is because God need it. Bezel all. Got a wisdom from God, expertise from the Lord, the spirit from the Lord. And he was able to do. Now give us number four. So that we may just lead and course. Now look at the Bezalel now. He is what? Raise your voice, two, three. He is a master craftsman, expert in working with the gold, silver, and bronze. Moses was not, but Bezalel was. Listen, I must not be a singer. I, I, may, I must not be an accountant. I, may not, I must not be anything else. But all that we need, God has brought these people, calling these graces. Lift your hand above your hand and say, I carry a certain grace. If I were you, I would shout louder because if it is not there, it would just drop immediately. I say, louder, I carry a certain grace. Yes. So, he was an expert in matters of gold, in matters of silver, in matters of bronze. God has lifted some of you. Did I tell you of this man of God who was doing ministry? Nagakua very successful. Nagakua na church here 700 people. Watu miya saba. Wanaka. Wanatawasa na kamzuri. Zumoja kaida kwa mulima kuoba mungu. Father, what do you want me to do with the ministry now? Mungu wakamuabia kitu nye limutisha. Kalibu wa aguke. Kalibu wa faint. Mungu wakamuabia. By the way, I have never called you to be a minister. I've never called you. Mimi sijai kuita ukue mwenye anaongoza kanisa. Sijai kuita katika kazi ya uchungaji. Mimi ni kuimba, nikakuumba na nikakuita na nikakupatia grace ya kutengeneza pesa. Your ministry is to fund the ministry, not to do ministry as a pastor. Akauliza Mungu, "What do I do now?" Mungu akamwambia, "Hand over that work and go back to your assignment." Next Sunday, he was looking for a pastor. Amwachie kazi. So many of us maybe are even preaching. Many of us are even singing, and you are not even called to sing. Many of us are even in the long praises. So, they were experts. And I pray that God shall help us. Listen to me carefully. People shall miss crowns in heaven because God shall never give you a crown of something he never assigned you. Okay. Can I say that again? Leo he, let me use you. Let me see governor. Governor is a teacher. Okay. So end month, um, TSC, you know, Padianga Mushara. Okay. For what? For teaching. Katika hiyo idala ya TSC, they are drivers. Is that true? 
we have secretaries. TSC inaopatiaga mshahara wa driver kuligana kazi nyao waliwapatia. Now God is our employer. Okay? Payment ya Mungu inakuwa in two dimension. Kuna marupurupu ya kila siku. Yeye Mungu aliambia Yesu aliambia um, uh, nani? Petero a hundred food here in this life. And baadaye usimo wa mile. So wengine saa hizi one of the things you are not enjoying greater provisions is because you have never even found your way to what God called you for. So unapokea marupurupu ya 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 sweeper lakini assignment ni ya principal. So shida iko na nani? Shida iko na employer ama iko na wewe? Si ni wewe. Sasa kipindi hiki angalia hii wa job description letter. Angalia the letter of appointment yenye ulipatiwa. Because your your account shall be credited depending on your job description. Praise the name of Jesus. Nasema bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ulize mwenza kwa unaonaje? Muulize hiyo mshahara unakuraga ni ya ofisi yako ama umekaa ya mwingine? Uh, praise the name of Jesus. <coughs> Imeigiana, amekobiaje? Anaonaje? Mzee Mugambi. Ile ofisi umekalia uh, Patrick when he unafundisha Sunday school. Tukienda binguni, unaimba tukienda binguni, tuitwa wa, wa ma, ma crowns za walimu wa Sunday school na ujue sikia jina yako haijasomwa. Tukienda mekaa hivi isome kwa majina ya ashas. Eh, alimo sadi madhomo madhile. Mwao kama kigiro dobe akaumira akaja kina hiyo. Ureke na tamuno. Ukiaga ukakaijiru akaja kina gamuno. Malito mode madhile. One list ya gale ho. Ya ashas. Oigo Patrick. Na umire. Na mahali walikuwa nasoma sasa Sunday school taji zimeisha. Spade hii haukufanya kazi. Wewe ulifanya spade ile ingine. Sio tutoke utapatale hapo. Biguli kutakuwa na 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 na, na kizungu mingi. Ado magari nadio mingi nya mbere ya gai. Kuli mtu ukadhi kwenye sio mwele haka bazaka yanda. Akiliko wewe wa wa, wa nyuma ya geria tia. Na tike nikala out na wera wa shida tare yako. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Tumoge kuzo office bili. Ya kwanza ni ya nani? Harun and who? Ya pili ni ya gani? Bezerah. Tumebakisha zingine kama sita. Na Mungu akitupatia neema, tutazivotilia pole pole. Be upstanding now in the name of Jesus. Watoto wakuje tuwaombe baraka za Mungu. This is the time? Yes, let's pray for children. Wakuje tuwaombe. Unapouliza neighbor unaonaje? Unafanyia kazi wapi? Oh God Almighty. Na Patrick ni ilikuwa example. <laughs> Ndoka kike kile kile hauka hauka. Naona wewe kako hauka ni mwele mwele kadha. Amen. Yeah, amen, amen, amen. We bless the Lord. Want to talk about watoto ili waingie katika class yao in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen. Good. Najua kuna wenye wamefunga shule, wamekuja na hii ni ya nguvu sana. Ino mikono tuwaelekeza hawa tunapowaombea neema. Eh hata umekuja. Eh. <laughs>